next year we got a brand new Peter Pan film coming out now when I first heard that there was a new Peter Pan film coming out next year I thought two things number one seriously we get a new Peter Pan film instead of Batman v Superman and number two another Peter Pan film seriously and now we got an official trailer for this new Peter Pan film and I've got to be honest I'm actually more on the side of this film after seeing the trailer because before, when I heard about it I was thought oh just another Peter Pan film it's going to be the exact same as the other ones nothing different but then after watching this trailer I found out for the first time it's actually an origin story of Peter Pan which is like mm, pretty cool because I like me a good origin story but I think recently Hollywood has started taking like characters that have got kind of like lore-ish background that they can draw from and they've started making lots of different origin stories and I'm not saying origin stories are bad it's just I'm thinking they're starting to be getting a bit overdone sometimes but Peter Pan's never had an origin story that I that I know of anyway but so it's really interesting to see how this trailer shows his origin story like it shows like he's an orphan he's got put in this orphanage then one night he and all of his orphan mates get captured by this big flying pirate ship and then they're cast off to Neverland by the pirate Blackbeard really interesting me personally because does that does that mean all the orphans are the lost boys really because I don't know I don't know Peter Pan lore or background so can you tell me are they, all those orphan boys are they do they become the lost boys I think they do I'm not sure but yeah there's quite a few things to talk about in the show first of all Peter Pan's like a little kid it's good to see him grow and things and he's gonna obviously become like this fearless warrior by the end and be able to fly in the boy who never grows old and things like that now Hugh Jackman has black beard this is where I was like Blackbeard? I didn't know Blackbeard existed in the Peter Pan universe personally. I just thought it was lots of different made up pirates. I think, I know, I think is Blackbeard a made up pirate? I don't know. But I mean like Captain Hook and things like that. More made up pirates for the story. So be interested to see how they incorporate Blackbeard into the Peter Pan lore. Now the one thing that I was a bit unsure about in this trailer, now I'm only being unsure because I don't know if this is what it was in the in the lore or if they've just made this up, I'm not sure, but the fact that Peter Pan gets a, like an adult friend in this film and then it turns out in the trailer that that is going to be Captain Hook, well, it's, he says he's called, my name's Hook and obviously he's going to become Captain Hook. Now I personally, number one, would have preferred it if they actually kept that a secret to the film. Like in the film you have the revelation, oh, my name's Hook. And you're like, oh my god, that's going to become Captain Hook. Sweet. But now they've told us in the trailer, you're just like, hmm, really? They're going to be like best friends and then obviously something's going to happen in the film that'll lead into the Peter Pan that we know and love to be them two clashing ahead. He's going to become Captain Hook, the pirate, and he's going to be Peter Pan the boy who flies and saves Neverland all the time and stuff like that so I don't know if it's wise or if it's accurate to any lore that's out there but it's a bit mm, I'm not so sure about it but we'll see it could be interesting to see how they actually how they actually meet and how they actually become enemies but it also sounds a bit like overdone as well like all oh, they used to be good friends but now one of them turned evil and now they're both at odds because they all know each other and that kind of stuff so it could be repetitive but they could make it surprisingly fresh I don't know now the CGI from this trailer some of it does look good some of it looks a bit hmm like the bit at the start where they're getting sucked up into the pirate ship and it flies away that looked pretty cool I'm not gonna lie then at the end you have this like little montage of all this like CGI clips it looks kind of like Narnia you have like you have this like angel kind of girl floating and stuff you have all these like cool explosions in the sky and a parachute flying away from another explosion it does look pretty cool I'm not gonna lie but it does look a little bit not some of the best CGI but obviously this is the first trailer they're obviously gonna polish it up before the film comes out of hope now the one thing I don't like about this film is the name it's just called Pan I mean what's the excitement in that name oh I'm gonna go to the cinema oh what are you gonna go watch I'm gonna go watch Pan okay Elaborate, please. No, it's just called Pan. Oh, sweet. It's a Peter Pan film. All oh, right, all right, Peter. All right. Like you got to explain to people what it is. Like oh, I'm gonna go watch Pan. Oh, it's a Peter Pan film. Blah blah blah. I think it'd be better if they call it like a different kind of name. Like um, I don't know, the Neverland Origins, or does that sound too generic? I don't know. But I think they could have made a better name than just Pan. It just sounds really basic and just really not really exciting. Nothing to like go. Oh, I want to go watch that film like right now. It's, you know what I mean? It's just like Pan. Woo. So anyway, the trailer for Pan, it, look, it does look pretty cool in some cases. Some things um, I'm a little bit hmm, about, like could this work, could this not work? But obviously I will have to wait till next June to see 
but um, after watching the trailer I will go give it a watch now I was originally contemplating not watching it after hearing about it because this actually replaced Batman vs Superman because that got delayed till 2016 but I am a little bit more on the side of this film so I'll probably go watch it but I want to know have you seen the Pan trailer and what do you think about it and and if you know the Peter Pan lore does this thing stuff in the trailer does it actually work with the lore as well like is Captain Hook actually a good mate of Peter Pan's before they become enemies or something because I don't know I really don't know so put them all in the comments below and if you like this video and you want to see more then all you have to do is click right here